Good morning, good afternoon and good evening everyone. So I got Galaxy A73 5G and uh, the One UI 8 custom ROM ported ROM finally released and this is the official ported custom ROM for the Galaxy A73 which is having Galaxy AI. We have to log in Samsung account to use the Galaxy AI features. Galaxy A73 5G model number is A736B oblique DS. Uh, dual sim set both IME numbers present over here currently my mobile phone galaxy a73 5g is on one ui version 8.0 invite 16 google play system update you can check it out basement version provided this is the build number so this is actually un1 ca ported rom of the one ui 8 for the galaxy a73 5g here you can see that the un1 ca settings provided in the settings menu if i tap on it i can see few options over here like ui settings if i tap here i can change or modify the rom and the spoof settings which also have options to turn it off or to turn it on and the extra settings if i tap on it you can see that there are few options provided face unlocking is working with this rom fingerprint scanner is currently not working with this update maybe with it, it will be fixed with coming update like during registration you will see that it will show could not register your fingerprint hopefully it will get fixed with the coming latest update this rom comes with the default play store the google play store is provided with the rom but the rom is not certified device is not certified if you want to certify the mobile phone you need to root the rom then install the modules actually this rom is not pre-rooted so banking applications will not have any issues if you want to install the banking applications if you want to use the uh, the banking application on this rom yes the banking application are opening with the rom well all the applications you can see on my mobile phone straightly downloaded from the google play store so i installed the whatsapp also and uh, the whatsapp is working not having any issues with the rom if you are thinking that uh, it, the control center may have some changes with the one ui 8 no the control center looks same just like one ui 7 both sim card inserted and signals are coming volte is also working with the rom welcome to jazz where customer services priority so i check the call yes call is happening and we can record the calls also let me show the camera application now the camera application is working all the way fine if you want to record videos you can record high definition video like ultra hd format in case if you want to change the resolution you can do that you can take pictures you can take portrait mode pictures and there is a fun segment also provided with the rom and after tapping on more there are a few modes available with the rom if you tap dual recording yes the dual recording is also working with the rom so this is the video recording and recorded in ultra high definition the front camera picture taken from this rom other pictures taken from the rear camera you will love to use the camera application because camera application does not have any issues with the rom my finally wording for the galaxy a73 5g to get the one ui 8 update on this mobile phone because the one ui 8 may not come for the galaxy a73 official like if you are waiting for the official update but if you have an unlock boot loader you can install the one ui 8 portrait rom straight away with the help of the custom recovery those who are flashaholic they like to have different custom rom on the mobile phone in case if you are owner of the galaxy a73 5g you can straightly flash the rom just follow my further video getting help from my videos do not forget to like the video if you haven't subscribed my channel yet click or tap the subscribe button click or tap the bell icon and click or tap the select all thank you i appreciate that links are all provided in my video description just make a new folder and download these files by clicking the links provided in video description this is the official custom ported rom of the one ui 8 you can see that un1ca for the galaxy a73 5g and we have to download odin 3.14.1 this is the recovery twrp recovery for the galaxy a73 5g and yes we need 
patch VP meter tar file to help to flash the recovery and to boot on the Galaxy A73 5G. Starting the procedure, first of all, extract the Odin 3.14.1 in same folder, which I already done this one, and then open the extracted folder of the Odin. Then double click the Odin file to open the Odin. Click OK on this pop up window and on Odin, click any slot. I will go for the AP slot. Then I will go to my downloaded folder and I will double click to select the recovery.tar. Then click CP slot on Odin. Again, go back to the downloaded folder and this time double click to select the patch VP meta tar file. Okay, Odin is almost ready coming back towards the mobile phone. So before starting the flashing procedure, we have to do a few important things. What are those? You need to unlock the bootloader of the mobile phone. In case if you are a flashaholic, you must be having an unlock bootloader already. Like I have already an unlock bootloader. In case if your mobile phone bootloader is locked, you can simply unlock the bootloader by booting into Odin mode screen. The warning screen appears before booting to the Odin mode screen. You can simply unlock the bootloader simple way. First of all, check the mobile phone battery. It's supposed to be charged. If the battery is below 30%, then charge the mobile phone battery. Then save all the internal storage data. Otherwise, the data will get formatted. Then go to settings, then go to accounts and backup. In case if you log in Samsung account, sync the Samsung account, must remove it to avoid issues. Same way, sync Google account, must remove it to avoid issues from the Google. Okay, done. Then go back, go to lock screen, then tap on the screen lock, unlock the screen lock, and then tap swipe to turn off the screen lock. Must turn it off to avoid issues with the TWRP. If you have done all these things, simply power off the mobile phone. So I will remove my SIM card. Always use a good quality of data cable for charging and for flushing. You need to check the other side of this data cable must be connected with computer or your laptop. Check the mobile phone. It must be totally power off. Now we have to boot the phone into Odin mode. For that, press and hold the volume up key, volume down key and then connect the cable with the mobile phone. In few seconds, you will see a warning screen. Release both keys immediately. Yes, warning screen got appears. I have released both keys. Now on the warning screen, here you can unlock the bootloader if you read the information over here. In my case, my mobile phone is bootloader already unlocked. On the warning screen, I will press the volume up key once to boot the phone into audit mode. Now press the volume up key once again to light up the screen. This is the Odin mode screen of my mobile phone. Well, KG status of my mobile phone showing completed 00, zero. and uh, maybe your mobile phone KG state will show checking which is okay. If the KG state showing completed 00, zero or checking, it's mean that a recovery will get flash. In case if the KG state is showing pre-normal, the recovery will not get flash. Finally, phone is booted into Odin mode. Going back to the computer screen. I have installed the Samsung Android USB driver already on my Windows. That is why the Odin or the Windows detected my mobile phone. On the Odin, click Options, untick the Auto Reboot, go back to Lock. Then click start to start flashing the recovery file along with the VP meta patch file. After a few seconds, you will see pass message means that done. Click exit, then go back to the downloaded folder. Coming back towards the mobile phone. Mobile phone still booted into Odin mode because I untick the auto reboot. Check the data cable, it must be connected, right? Now we have to boot the phone into custom recovery from the Odin mode. Once again, check the data cable, it must be connected. Now press and hold the volume up key, volume down key and power key, right? All three keys at same time. And when mobile phone restart, then release the volume down key first. Okay. And when you see the Samsung logo, then release the power key. Wait for it. It may take a time. Okay, done and count till five one two three four five release the volume up key 
Now the phone will boot into TWRP recovery. Wait for it. I got the demon recovery on my mobile phone. Version is 3.7.0. First thing first, after when you see the TWRP screen, right? Tap wipe and swipe to factory reset. Okay, done. Go back and tap format data. Type YES over here and tap here. You need to format the data first. When done, then go back to main screen. Tap reboot and tap recovery. I got the recovery screen once again on my mobile phone. The internal storage of the mobile phone will get appears on the computer screen. You can see that Samsung A73. I will click on the internal storage. This is the internal storage, but you can see that the internal storage is not proper form. I cannot copy paste over here. Yes, we have to do one more thing and that is, so I will come back to my mobile phone on the recovery screen, tap advance and tap file manager and then tap data folder then tap this arrow sign in blue color here tap open terminal here this one and type the command to make the directory the command is m k d i r space type the folder name m e d i a yes we have to create a folder with the name of media in the data folder after giving the command tap here it is done right now go back go back to main screen tap mount then tap disable mtp okay then tap enable mtp and go back to the main screen the samsung internal storage will get pop up once again on the computer screen and this time if you double click the internal storage you will see the internal storage will be in proper form is showing 102 gb free out of 104 gb it means that we can copy paste now now i will go back to my downloaded folder and uh, i will copy the un1ca the ported rom of the one ui8 from the computer downloaded folder then I will go to my internal storage of the mobile phone and I will paste the ROM file on the internal storage. It will take a time. We have to wait here. So I got the ROM file copied on my internal storage and right now I am done from the computer. And uh, first thing first, I will disconnect the data cable from the mobile phone. Press the power key to unlock the TWRP screen. Then tap settings, go to the third menu and to make the screen time out to maximum. Then go back to main screen, tap wipe and tap advanced wipe. So select the Dalvik cache, the first one, the second one and OMR, optics, prism, metadata, data. These are the partitions that we have to select, right? And then swipe to swipe these partitions. When done, then go back to main screen, simply tap install, tap up label, then tap data folder and tap media folder. Definitely you will see the copied ROM file, this one, right? Tap to select the ROM file and then swipe to start flushing. Now it will take a time. Yes, we have to wait here. Finally, flushing got completed. And you will see that script succeeded, right? Now tap reboot system to reboot the recovery. Now here, the mobile phone will show Samsung logo and the warning sign, which means that the bootloader is already unlocked. And it will take a time, then it will start booting to the One UI 8 portrait ROM. The first boot may take us some time. So I got the welcome screen on my mobile phone means that the first boot finally completed. I will complete the setup screen now. One UI 8 updated operating system ported from the flagship mobile phone for the Galaxy A73 5G finally booted on the Galaxy A73 which is right now current you can see. If I tap settings and if I tap about phone same model galaxy a73 5g model number is a736b oblique ds dual sim set both i mean number present over here if i tap the software information and this is what i got right now one ui version 8 invite version 6 
Player check the play system update, basement version provided kernel version and the build number. UN1CA is a big platform and uh, providing porting the ROM for different Android mobile phones, especially for the Samsung. Hopefully, we will get update for the current mobile phone. Hope you liked the video and hope you got help from this video. Thank you so much. Take a good care. We'll see you next time. Tata. Bye-bye.